When you think of breakfast food, you don't normally think of Harry Potter along with it, but here is a recipe that you're gonna wanna try and I definitely wanna eat right now. These are the Hogwarts inspired breakfast sausage patties, and I got the recipe from the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. Looking for inspiration, I turned to none other than the book that has inspired me for many years. Today, we're gonna give this recipe a try, and we're gonna see how it comes out in a few minutes. This is Sweetly Savory. This original recipe, as in Dinah Buckles' book, calls for a half pound each of ground veal and beef or pork. I'm not a fan of veal and hope to get a half pound of pork to substitute for the veal, but alas was not able to find it. Instead of going from store to store, I ultimately used a whole pound of ground beef at home and I'll give my thoughts at the end. As for the full cup of panko crumbs, this felt more akin to meatloaf rather than sausages, but the seasonings were certainly breakfasty. making the patties into little disc shapes to be about an inch thick. I was able to make 12 out of that pound of meat. Melt two tablespoons of butter, then space out half of the patties in the pan to not overcrowd. In about two minutes, you'll start to smell the fat rendering off and hear a good sizzle. Flip them, and if you want to flatten them out, feel free to. By this point, they've probably shrunk a wee bit, and I pressed mine down so they cook evenly. You'll want these to be around 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius internally. I've linked our food thermometer in the description since this is hands down one of the most important tools in our kitchen. Alrighty, so I've waited long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and dive into these. Let's give them a taste and see. The difference in meat ratio for half of veal and then the, the half of regular hamburger, burger or pork, it definitely does bring um, that flavor complexity. And if you only have a pound of hamburger, then you're just gonna have like little breakfast hamburger patties, but it's flavored really well with the sage, marjoram and thyme. It definitely has that breakfasty sausage aspect to it. It's still gonna be delicious. I wanna go ahead, I'm finished eating these. Make sure to check out this full recipe on my Tumblr that I've linked down below. Subscribe to Sweetly Savory if you haven't already, would really appreciate that. And we'll see you again next time on Sweetly Savory.